Okay, good morning, Primary 2. So this morning I am going to take you through a little Maz meeting, just like we do every day in class. And this is something that you can be doing every day. So we're going to do a Maz meeting this morning and then we're also going to do another one at the end of the week. So today is Monday the 23rd of March 2020. I want you to repeat that full sentence now to your mummy or your daddy or your granny or whoever's looking after you today. Okay? Now, yesterday was Sunday, mm, March 2020. Can you have a little think about what date yesterday was? So if today's the 23rd of March, what date was yesterday? Have a little think. Okay, so yesterday was Sunday, the 22nd of March, 2020. Okay, so I want you to say that full sentence for me now. Okay, now tomorrow will be Tuesday, mm, March, 2020. Can anybody think what date tomorrow is going to be? So if today's the 23rd of March, what number comes after 23? Good. Today's going to be Tuesday. Sorry, tomorrow's going to be Tuesday, the 24th of March, 2020. So this is our calendar work for today. And every day you can be saying full sentences about today's date, yesterday's date, and tomorrow's date. Okay, now we're going to go to our weather pictogram and I want you to tell whoever is looking after you today what a pictogram is. Good, a pictogram is a graph that tells us information and that's something we've been working really hard on from September. So I want you to be a weather watcher and have a little look out the window and see what the weather is like today. Is it snowy? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Or is it rainy? So have a little look and you decide what you think the weather is like today. What do you think? Today the weather is... It's got a little bit cloudy. So I am going to put my little ticket at cloudy on my weather pictogram. And every day you can be looking out the window and tell whoever's looking after you, today the weather is. Okay? Now, here we have Ollie the Owl. And we were doing lots of learning with Ollie the Owl just before we got off school. So, I want you now to look on Ollie's tummy, he has what type of a clock? Is it a digital clock or an analog clock? And I want you to have a little think now and see if you can tell whoever is at home. Is it a digital or analog clock? What do we think? That's right, it's an analog clock. Now, on an analog clock, we have two hands. We have the long hand and we have the short hand. What does the long hand tell us? Who can remember? The long hand tells us the minutes and the short hand tells us the hours. So, on Ollie the Owl's clock, he has a time. It's a half past time. Can anybody tell whoever's at home what time is on Ollie's tummy? Good, so Ollie the Owl is telling us the time, half past nine. Okay, let's have another little look. We're gonna change our time now. What time is on Ollie the Owl's tummy now? It is three o'clock. Repeat that after me, three o'clock, okay? Now, what time is on Ollie's tummy now? Five o'clock. I 
forget how we write five o'clock in digital time? Do you think that you could tell whoever's at home with you now how we write five o'clock in digital time? Have a little minute to think. Okay, so when we write five o'clock in digital time, we write the number five, we do two little dots followed by zero, zero. Okay, now if we change our time, so I've made a new half past time, half past one. How do we write half past one in digital time? Have a little think. Okay, so half past one in digital time is we write the number one, two little dots, a three and a zero. Because there are 60 minutes in one full hour, so in half an hour, half of 60 is 30. Okay, so if you have a little clock at home, just like Miss McGrogan's Ollie the Owl, you can be practicing making o'clock and half past times. And then you can practice telling whoever's at home how you write these times in digital. And then you can actually practice them on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard at home. Okay. So, just before we get off, we were also practicing counting up in fives to 100 and then backwards in fives from 100. So, we're going to practice that now and we're going to jump up in fives to 100. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap and clap, tap and clap. So, zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, good job. Now when we're counting backwards, we're going to do it this way. So 100, 95, 90, 85, 80, 75, 70, 65, 60, 55, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 50, 10, 5, 0. Okay? Now, we also were practicing counting in groups of 10 because groups of 10 was something we, which we were working on in our maths mastery. So let's just practice counting up in groups of 10 to 100 and then backwards in groups of 10 from 100. So this time we're going to click 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I would like you to count in ones the whole way to 120. And when you get to 120, I want you to stop, take a little break. And then try to count backwards from 120 the whole way back to zero. Okay, so I'm going to leave that with you as your little challenge to, and see how you get on. Now, we were working on tens and ones just before we got off school. And we were looking at how to make numbers using our Dean's equipment. So, here I have my orange Cuisinair rod and it represents 10. Here I have my little white Cuisinair rods and 10 of these make up one big Tommy 10. So I have my tens and I have my little ones. We call this in our class Tommy Ten and Mrs. One. And Tommy Ten and Mrs. One are very good friends. So we always find them beside each other. Now, if I have one Tommy Ten and one little one, K 
can we tell whoever's at home now what number that makes? So I had one Tommy 10 and one little one. What number does that make? That's right, it makes the number 11. The number 11 is made up of one Tommy 10 and one little one. If I change that and I had another Tommy 10, so I have two Tommy 10s, I'll put them down here, and I have one, two, three little ones, so I have two Tommy 10s and three little ones. What number does that make? Good, so two 10s are equal to 20, and I have three little ones, so all together that makes the number 23. Here I have some little tens and ones cards. I have my place value chart and I have my part and my part. So in one of my parts, I have five groups of 10 and in my other part, I have four little ones. So five groups of 10 and four little ones makes what number in my whole? Five groups of 10 and four little ones makes what number in my whole? It makes the number 54. You do that action at home. 54. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so let's try a harder one. So in one of my parts, I have eight groups of 10 and in the other part, I've just got one little one. So eight groups of 10 and one little one makes what number? Have a think. Eight groups of 10 and one little one makes what number? It makes the number 81. Okay. Now I'm going to give you one last one, but I'm not going to tell you the answer. I want to see if you can tell the answer to whoever's looking after you today at home. So we have seven groups of 10 in one part and we have nine little ones in the other part. So we have seven groups of 10 in one part and we have nine little ones in the other. So seven groups of 10 and nine little ones makes what number? Have you a little think? See if you can tell whoever's at home. Okay, so that is the end of our little maths meeting this morning. So just a little bit of revision of what we were doing before we get off school. Everybody should have a little addition and subtraction booklet like this within 20. Some of you might have a little number booklet working within 10. Some of you have a little number line at home to help. If you don't have a number line at home to help, you can go on to your iPad, your mummy's phone, with their permission and with their supervision. Or you can go on to Google and you can type in number lines to 20 and you can use that to help you. Today, I just want you to put your little name on the front. And I just want you to give the very first page a try. And our very first page today is about subtracting within 20. So when we subtract within 20, we are jumping back with Fred the Frog on the number line. So the first question says 20 subtract 10 is equal to mm. Okay, so you should know that very quick because that's just the half of 20. But go to 20 on your number line and make 10 jumps back. And let's see what number you land on with Fred the Frog. Okay, if you only want to try half of this page, that's also fine. But this is our first little written activity that we're going to try this week. 